Okay, the last thing we need to do is to create a drawing, and that's quite simple to do in Inventor. I'm going to create a drawing from this assembly. I'm going to go over here, I'm going to choose New again. This time I don't want a part or an assembly, I'm going to go for a drawing file. And this is the one I want to use, ANSI Millimeters IDW, and the IDW stands for um, Inventor Drawing File. I'm going to click on that one and click Create. Now, um, there's my page comes up straight away of what it's going to look like. What I have to do now is to position the different views of my assembly on that page. So I'm going to click on this one that says Base, and I'm going to choose over here, I'm going to choose the file I want to get. So I'm going to open this one, and I want Bottle Assembly 5. There's the preview of it. I'm going to say Open here, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to decide that um, it's the front view that I want to place first. But if I actually go across, I can see what it looks like. I haven't done anything with it yet, but that's what it's going to look like. I think that's too small. So I'm going to come back over to here. I'm going to change my scale to 2 to 1. And the last thing before I start putting my views down is I'm going to click this little shaded thing here, which makes sure that the actual things when I put them on the page will be colored in rather than black and white. So move this out of the way. There's my first view, my front view. Now this is going to create what's called orthographic projection. And this particular type is called third angle. So I've clicked to put my front view. If I now drag my cursor to the right, it automatically lines up and creates a side view. I'm going to click again. I'm going to move my cursor up over the top. And again, it lines up directly and it creates a top or plan view. Click again. And if I move over here into the right hand side, it gives me an isometric view. I'm going to click again. Now, none of those are fixed until I now right mouse click and click the word create. When I do that, it actually fixes them all. They're on my page now. If at any point I do want to edit them for some reason, you'll see if I hover over them, I get this red dotted line around them. So I can actually double click and go back into that same box. If I thought my scale was wrong or something, I can change it afterwards. I'm happy with my scale. I'm going to leave that as it is. But what I do want to do just before I save this is I want to add some dimensions in. So if I was going to print this off and give it to my client, he knows how big this bottle will be. I can add as many dimensions as I want to this, but I'm just going to put the basic ones on for this um, demonstration. So I'm going to go to the annotation tab. I'm going to choose the dimensioning tool. And basically, it will dimension anything that I click on. So I'm going to click, first of all, on this left-hand line and then the right hand line and then I'm going to drag and go into the middle and if I click now it will automatically I'll just say okay to that it'll automatically put those dimensions in there for me if I zoom in on those in a minute you'll be able to see those details um, clearly now this line across here is the same it doesn't matter whether I drag from this side or from this side but if I click here and click here and drag across that gives me the height and again any dimensions I want to add on, I can add on. So if I want to know the width of this thing, I could either go the width here and here and drag down, or it's the same thing at the top here. Click on this one and click on this one and come to the side, and I get my dimension there. Again, I can dimension as much as I want. If I want to know the size of the lid, I can go from the corner to the corner and drag upwards, and that will dimension the size of that lid for me at least from the corners anyway. So what I can do now, I can zoom in if I want to have a look at some of these sizes to see if it, they're actually on there, and they are. So I'm all happy with that. So really, all I need to do now is I need to save that drawing file so I can print it off. So same as before, hit the save, give it a sensible name. So if this is Bottle Assembly 5, I'm going to call it Bottle Drawing 5 so I know that it matches the same set of parts and assemblies and it's all in the right place and hit save. And there you are, that's the three main steps of what you need to go through. There will be a few other little videos just to show you some slight variations on how you can do bottles and lids, maybe using um, rounded ones rather than rectangular ones and so on. But those are the basics of how to create the three different parts of your inventor files. Good luck.